Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the POD starring me, Meek Mill. Me, Philip. Yeah, hold the mic. Yeah, there you go. I hold it like that. that. There you go. Hold it's it right the there on the, arm. the mic type. Yeah, I forgot the little things that clip the mics into the table stands and all that shit. But we are recording right now at the old movie podcast now family ranch. And uh, it's me, Michael. Me, Philip. And this is Killer Clowns from Outer Podcast Space Now. Um, I was trying to think of a better. Killer Clowns from the Galaxy. No. Like, we always do, like, John Candy podcast. Okay. Now was last week. Like uh, Cotton Candy. Con- cotton, Kings. cotton Candy. Cotton Body Cotton Bag. Bag. Pos- cotton King. Cotton Mouth King. Okay, cotton Mouth Podcast Kings. Now. <laughs> That's the name of it. And we're here to talk about everybody's favorite marijuana-based white guy hip-hop crew from the late 90s, the Cotton Mouth Kings. Yep. Phil, favorite song. Hey, stay on fucking task. Sorry. Uh, it's the one song. Jesus. Uh from Cottonmouth Kings that's like I got two states of mind and all I keep doing the beat I got two states of mind stoned and asleep first I hit the sweet leaf and then I have nice green okay stop that's back when like white guys would do that like like that that guy was always in the background he was like the he was like the hype man ever yes he was like the white hype man right Instead of, like, a giant clock around his neck, yeah. it would just be, like, boating shoes. And a guy that also looks <laughs> like know? a killer clown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, Phil, how the heck you doing, Missy? Great. Doing fa- fantastic or fangtastic to our horror fans. Mm-hmm. Or slash-tastic to slash-tastic, our horror fans. Slash-tastic, but there's people who watch this, listen to this show, uh, who aren't into either of those. Okay, well. Uh, how, how do you greet them? Some uh, people are... Dramatastic, uh, documentary-tastic. Uh, action tastic, um, rom com tastic, uh, a tisket a tasket, um, uh, <laughs> sci fi tastic, uh, adventure tastic, elastic tastic, elastic tastic. Yeah, <laughs> you just stretch out on your bed after work. <laughs> like taffy. You ever have it? Okay, so I had this the other day. I was laying out on my bed after work, right? It was like a Wednesday, and I had just. I mean, Phil, God damn it, I had had enough. It was one of those days. One of those days, exactly. And I was laying out on my bed, and you know when you just start rubbing your, your penis like it's a pussy? Yeah. You're just like flower petals are falling yeah. from the ceiling, and you're just laying there like, oh my God. I call it making You know, cookies. you're from Long Island all of a sudden, I'm and you're drunk on Island. fucking pink wine yeah. with fucking ice cubes in yeah. it. Huh. You're like, oh, oh my god, oh god, fra- I have too oh. much Moscato. Oh, I'm drunk. That piece of shit husband's coming back. Yeah. Larry? That kind of, I had one of those. Yeah. Right? And then I fell into one of those, I'm not asleep, but I'm not awake, mm. sort of middle state things. You know what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. I'm in that all Where the time. Where your brain is still kind of working, but you're asleep, yeah. eyes closed, but you're thinking. Mm-hmm. And I had a dream. And the dream was about, it was so wild. It was about. Like, what if it was the 80s, right? And you and I love the 80s. You and I love the 80s. We love we, the 80s. We love More the than ladies. The 70s. We love the ladies. Love the ladies but and we the love 80s. the 80s. Right. Now, we're both extremely gay men. Yes, and that's we'll why get we love to the our, 80s. And we'll get to our, uh, uh, our uh, you know, third guest. Another gay man. Another gay man. We'll get to them in a second, but for now, it's just you and me, baby. Yeah, it and is. We're just synced up, dude. <laughs> we are. We're, we're in synced sync. up. Oh, we really are, dude. Yeah, I'm, you and uh, me are like. You and me are like. Do you remember that movie Avatar? You're like that flying bird, and then I take my little fucking uh, wiener and I sink it into your body, and you fight me at the first. The James Cameron one. Yeah, and we start fighting, and you're like, "Don't do that! Don't do that!" And then before you know it, you're like, "Do that harder." Yeah. Do it yeah. now. We're synced up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's this podcast, bro. <laughs> that is this podcast. <laughs> so I the... had a dream, and the dream was, what if it was the 80s? Mm-hmm. And what if, not just Earth, right? Not just Will Smith here to defend Earth. Yeah. I'm a fucking patriot. I don't know about you, asshole, but I'm a fucking patriot, okay? Yeah, me too. Yeah? And as a patriot, I thought, what if America was invaded Mm-hmm. By some sort of alien life form, but they're funny. But they're, they're they've got a wicked sense of humor. Yes, they're fucking goofballs. Let's be honest, right? And 
what if what's the funniest thing ever and i think we can all agree on the answer farts oh okay i was no. gonna say clowns but clowns you clowns. know no farts are funny yeah clowns can fart they what's did the funniest, create the whoopee cushion what's the funniest fart you ever had because i'm immediately thinking of the one i had that was insane Anytime they're they're like really loud, like and a knee hard. buckle fart, like, like one where you're just like, oh my tuba. god, you have to like grab something, yeah. you have to grab like, the wall. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I have to sit bam, down. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> okay, bam, dude, bam, bam. Yeah. dude. So like, uh, I was in the uh, the men's room uh, at uh, my workplace the other day, and I'm sitting in there, and I'm just trying to just like sit on the toilet and and just like check in with myself it's part of my therapy that's, I do. that's that's where i get to my zen but i know there's a guy next to me right and it's all quiet on the western front for a long time and then out of nowhere you hear the fart in a toilet bowl sound effect which is just thump right? yeah yeah <laughs> i just heard thump yeah thump thump and then the crackling sound of a dude taking a a grown 55 year old unhealthy man taking a massive dumper uh, right? <laughs> and i'm just sitting there like oh man i was just i was finally checking in with like traumatic memories from my childhood yeah, and getting okay with it there's i was almost one with it and then just bump <laughs> i was like fuck dude <laughs> i saw a uh I saw uh, a movie. We'll get to that, but you it, saw what? It was a TikTok of this guy who was probably like at Kroger, and he grabs the phones from the uh, the like the display case. No, the uh, the oh, he, and he farts in it. Hold on, it, hold on. He the, I saw this yeah. too. He grabs the. It was like a big chunky dude too, right? Yeah, it was yeah. Like oh, of thick, course it had to it be to get that boy. kind of power. No, dude, that man like he didn't even have to do like the brace yourself. No. It's like no, that's just coming out like that. Yeah, he didn't even have to like scrunch up his face. Yeah, it's just like in the middle of like <laughs> the aisle at like fucking <laughs> fucking Walmart, and was like, bop, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bop. Yeah, and it just echoed. It's like the, a comic book. You can see the words that whop, he's farting. Bo just bop. Just five exclamation just like marks. Stampede away. Upside down fucking question mark. <laughs> <laughs> like he farted bilingually. Is how hard my man farted in that video. Yeah. I saw it. <laughs> and and, and but, it hits on. an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> like just the the shock wave hit her and just like Doctor Manhattan her into a million shreds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was fucking Rorschach or Rorschach. Yeah, Rorschach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, anyways, I had a dream, and it was this nightmarish vision about gigantic clown people, but from... Yeah, were they from Congress? <laughs> hey, hey. Dude. <laughs> well, okay, fuck it. I don't know. It's time for Politics Corner before we actually move into the movie. Phil. Yeah. What's up with these politics, though, dude? I don't know, man. They're being mad disrespectful, though, dude. You've got Ron the Meatball DeSanto. Okay, can I be honest? That's I hate good. Donald Trump. Yeah. Him calling, and I hate Ron DeSantis. Yes. Donald Trump, DJT, mm -hmm. our big mean boyfriend of yeah. the week, <laughs> yeah. calling Ron DeSantis Meatball Ron is the funniest ace. Thing I love I've ever heard. when they go, like, when they eat each other. If you know what I mean? Like, when, when they eat, yeah. Yeah, I, I just when love When they eat each shit. other out, bro. Yeah. Could you imagine Ron DeSantis and DJT just wrapped up in a, a wicked 69? Yeah, with it's like Like 138 is how fucking all the sick time, it is with them. Who's like, he claimed he was uh, a gay Jewish guy gay who lost Jewish his guy parents just in 9 comes to find out he's just... He's just a, a gay liar. Republican. No, he's not even gay. I don't he's think. like, I'm gonna write these very bad checks to buy dogs from an Amish guy. He'll never get his money back. That's what he did. <laughs> One of the things he did. What's his name again? I forgot about him already. Uh, something Santos? Uh, Maybe? Um, it's something Sa Rick Santo? No. Rick Santo? Rick Santo? It's something Santos. It's Mark Santa? Santos? Mike Santos? Mike Santos. Yeah. Mike Santos. Mike that was Santos. my fucking Geosity's name back in the day, dude. Oh, really? Oh, dude, Mike Santos. You fucking go Google in those old fucking archives. You're going to find some wicked shit. So it's Geosities. I always thought it was Geocities. I think it is Geocities. Uh, uh, okay. I think I called okay. it Geosities for years because I was a fucking idiot. Okay. <laughs> they didn't tell it's you back in the day. Nobody knew back then. Yeah. Hyphen. Yeah, hyphen. Hyman. Hyphen the hyman. Speaking of hyman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm trying. You know I'm bad at segues, Phil. Speaking of Hyman. Speaking of Jewish Today's names. movie. No, Hyman is, is, is it's that like that little thing. Yeah. I, I'm gay, so just it's not a penis, though, right? We'll it's like the opposite. Okay. What, what, what's the okay, look. So I know. So you're you are gay. Mm-hmm. You're a big gay redneck who yeah. loves fucking just taking them left, right, and center. Yeah. You're a Chinese finger trap. Bro. I like wrestling. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're a vicious power bottom, and I have so much to learn from you. You're my fucking Zen master. But there's a woman sitting right next to us. Yes. And um, and we'll get to you in a second, okay? I, I apologize. Um, but she's the guest for the day. For this week. Mm -hmm. She's the guest friend of the show. She is. She's the big mean boyfriend of the week. She really is. Mm -hmm. She really fucking is. <laughs> She's the big mean boyfriend of the week. And Phil, you and I were talking about this before we started the uh, the POD today. This is the first fucking, and I, I, look, you know me, man. I'm gay. I'm progressive as shit. But women do have cooties, and we can mm, admit that's that. That's why I'm in the middle. So that's why you're in the middle. Just, instead just of keep, cooties, keep that it's away. whatever stank I have. <laughs> yeah, which already, I mean... It's not even cooties. You have fucking just duties, okay? Like, Scurvy. Yeah, you have something. You have I, uh, some 18th century yeah. disease Listen, in you Listen, I sure. really like lemons. That's all mm. I eat. Yeah. Well, that would keep away scurvy. Well, it didn't. I was eating scurvy Do you scurvy think lemons, lemons cause scurvy, bro? Yeah. Do you actually think that? Lemons are what they oh. eat to reduce the chance of scurvy on ships. See, I like it in a warm glass of tea. <sighs> I do. T oh, wait. Lemons not come? No. Oh, then, yeah. No, never mind. Sorry. Well, I misunderstood. Phil. Yeah, good bubble tea. Phil, shut up. Um, we have to move on to a serious subject yeah. right now. There's a girl on this fucking POD, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm so scared. excited, dude. The oh, ladies yeah, yeah. are here. Yeah. No, I'm scared, too, because it's like... Get the lady demographic in. Well, you and I are massive fucking virgin cucks, dude. Yes. So, like, what the Cuckles. fuck are we going to do about this? Okay. Yes. All right. So, let's play it cool. Okay. Okay. We'll address her. Can I wear sunglasses to be cool? Um, Hey, Phil. Mm-hmm. Take mine, bro. <laughs> That's how fucking cool you are, dude. <laughs> I'm already wearing my stupid hat. <laughs> All I see are naked men in these. <laughs> it's yeah. like they live, but... But they, gay. They, they gay. <laughs> they gay. Gay live. Yeah. Gay live. There you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is a big occasion. And for that, we are grateful. We are grateful to the god of podcasting, Joe Rogan, sadly. Yeah. Um, we are grateful, and uh, seeing as this is, uh, we're now pretty, <laughs> look, we're getting like 100 views on YouTube, so, so <laughs> we're kind of a big more, deal. Yeah, we're a pretty big deal. <laughs> we're shooting for 100 more and calling it quits. And then we're calling it quits. Second we hit our highest numbers. Mm hmm and people are actually subscribing to the Patreon, yeah. patreon.com forward slash PMTM. Link is in today's show notes. It's in the description. Once we hit those peaks, dude, we're done. We're done. Because we already did it. We proved it. We can make money in POD casting. Phil, I have another confession to make. What? I have never fucking seen... I'm serious about this. I have never seen killer clowns from outer space until... About four hours ago. Really? Yeah. I, I tried. always thought we did. I always thought it was something that no. we talk about because Phil, of uh, I know the, the Dickies. I, I love the Dickies. The schlockiness The, the of Dickies it. are like my favorite fucking like just cheesy fun punk band from L.A. back in the day. Yeah. Love the Dickies. We're going to fucking link to them as well because we can't fucking play it. I fucking love them. Yeah. Okay. Having said that, no, I had never tried this movie all the way. And I wow. did today, but it wasn't my decision. That's my decision, I guess. I mean, I guess, but it's because... You would have needed to watch it, at least. Well, it's because you had somebody fucking just, you know, just being like, mm, why don't we... No, I'm kidding. No. Uh, but somebody said that they were a fan of this movie, mm -hmm. and this person's close to you. Mm -hmm. This person has sex with you almost as much as I do. Yes, almost. <laughs> almost. Phil, what do you say we go ahead and bring on today's big mean boyfriend of the week... <laughs> As you said, guest friend of the show, guest friend in my heart, oh, girlfriend in yours, Alana. Actually, Alana. sorry, Phil, you do it. Announcer, come on. Uh, Alana Kuanoi. I want to do the voice. <gasps> sure, that was great. Thank you. Uh, Alana, welcome to the show. Oh. Thank you. Alana, I have so many questions. Okay. okay? <laughs> 
and we're gonna get to the movie, I promise. All right. But the first question I have is, um, Philip, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? <coughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so you guys are kind of a thing. Yeah, we're yep. a thing. Um, a thing. Yeah, we're me. a thing. Thang. Yeah, you guys are a thing. If you look on social media, it says we're official. Where? Like Twitter, Facebook. Tumblr? Okay. The Facebook. only one that matters. <laughs> yeah, right. The, the and, only one. And Instagram. True, true. Okay, all right. Well, Alana, you have a big fandom within you for horror films. That's what I understand. Absolutely. And you picked this week's movie, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yes. An American classic. I'm just going to go ahead and say now, I, again, I'd never seen it. I watched it. In the first 10 minutes, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And I was expecting to come up here and be like, Alana, I know it's your first time on the show. Philip, I know that this is important to you. I hate this movie. That's what I thought I was going to say. Mm. And then they started turning people into cotton candy yeah. pods. And yes. I was like, son of a bitch. This is so enjoyable. Yeah, it's so enjoyable. Look, I love the Dickies. I love punk rock. Yeah. But I, I, I adore. It's hard to hate. This fucking movie's you just so enjoyable. Movie. Like It'd be like, well, I think it's stupid. No shit. That was it's intentionally point. stupid. You can't be like, I hated it because it was stupid. And it's, it's like, well, so you can't silly. do that with this movie because that was the intention. Uh, Alana, try, uh, just make sure the microphones, yeah, but these you have to kind of eat it. Just like that. Yeah, you're good. You're good right about there. So, um... As a horror fan, yes. Where do you go? Like, what, like, what are some of your favorites? What are the things that you know you love about horror? Well, there's a lot of things I like about horror. Sometimes I, you know, I want to look for a movie that'll, you know, give me a good scare. Sometimes, you know, I like to be left on a cliffhanger. You know, most of the time I don't really, but you know, there's some movies where, you know. When it gets put on a cliffhanger, you you wonder more like you know, wow, like you know, where is this going to lead up to now? Yeah, yeah, well, cliffhanger. For sure, for sure. Sylvester Stallone uh, is trying to save some people from John Lithgow. John Lithgow. That you're talking cliffhanger with Schwarzenegger. I mean, Stallone, right? I I mean, is he in any horror movies? You. He, I, if, if so, I have not seen any. I would say if it comes to Stallone, the closest he ever got to a horror movie would, Rhinestone. would be Rhinestone. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I would say Cobra? a Cobra would be the closest because it was a slasher it, element kind to of it. Kind a slasher. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The guy had the big, that big sick fucking knife with yeah. the fucking the, yeah. the studs yeah, and the like, fucking handle. Show yourself big. Come yeah. on, pig. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But, um, okay, so... When it comes to horror, a lot of times you want to figure out, like, so, okay, like, uh, are you a slasher movie fan? Absolutely. Are you a, like, you can go back to the classics? You're not just, like, the newest horror movies? Oh, no. I, I actually have a big heart for uh, the classic movies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in fact, you did a, uh, I guess, uh, you know, you're a pretty good painter, and you got some interesting styles you do. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, show the one you brought. This is great. Hold this up towards the camera for sure. All right. Here, get, uh, Phil. Let me get out of your way. Yeah. Look at that. It's Philip. <laughs> it's me eating an onion because I like onions. Philip Philip will just house an onion. He'll Philip, eat it like an apple. He eats it like an apple. Slices, though. Yeah. I don't just go, ho, oh, oh, No, you do. He will. He'll put on his helicopter hat, yeah. and he'll just crush <laughs> an, a fucking onion. That and rutabagas. Yeah. He does that before dates. Yeah. <laughs> I like the I like the foods that shape like grenades. No, but it looks fantastic. Thank and, you. And um, you did one for the show, probably a couple, I don't know, but I know you did one in particular that uh, you gave to Philip and he gave to me, and I love it very much. It's up <laughs> in my apartment, and it's uh, it's what? It's Pinhead, it's Freddy. Leatherface. Yeah, Leatherface, and Freddy's like the biggest, it, like in my heart. Like, I oh, yeah, same Freddy here. Love Freddy fucking Kroger. Love Freddy fucking Kroger. But you're just such a horror fan, and it's exciting because yeah. we fucking love horror movies on this podcast. That's what we do. Yes. You know? No? You disagree? No, I don't disagree. <laughs> okay. Do you have anything you want to say about horror movies? I like or? scary movies. <laughs> I have to say, when it comes to slashers, I really only like the classic ones. I can't really 
get into newer stuff besides like a few good men that's not a slasher movie that's a drama from the oh. 90s a few good men kind of is a slasher yeah. i think you're right Right? Yeah, I don't think I've seen Jack that. Jack Nicholson. Oh God, it's great. Okay, great. so like when you think of a slasher movie, you think of Jag, and when you think of a movie that takes place in the Marine Law Arena, mm -hmm. there's only one truly great slasher that yeah, takes place a few in good the men. <laughs> a few good with men. Jack Nicholson. With Jack Nicholson, Tomathan Cruz, Ke uh, Kevin uh, Epic Bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Epic Bacon. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> I already tried turkey bacon. I don't like it either. It's just <laughs> turkey it's bacon very sucks. Salty. It's like this is just bologna. No, it is. It's just bologna. No, that's cut all it is. It's strips. elongated yeah. bologna. Yeah, fuck it. I'll have regular bacon. Yeah, or regular discus shaped bologna. Yeah. Don't fucking give me this bullshit where it's like no, but this is like stripped uh, bologna. Yeah. Like why? Why do I need it in strips? Yeah, it's just going to bring up my fucking blood pressure more. And it's only going to bring up old traumas I have when I worked at the uh, uh, the baloney slash uh, uh, sexual harassment family. And it's like, <laughs> guys, you're ranting about something that's probably kosher to people because they have to eat that instead. We're like, fuck it! Eat the pork! We can't eat turkey bacon. Phil. Oh, I thought you were saying baloney is not pork. No, I was talking turkey bacon. <laughs> You know, turkeys come from pigs. They they come from the anus of the pig. Yeah. That doesn't count. That's yeah, yeah, fucking squirkies, dude. Squir <laughs> Weekend at squirkies. <laughs> it's my favorite fucking uh, scat porn yeah. parody. I'm a scat man. Yeah. <laughs> Be bada -da -da. Okay, so Phil, I see you wrote down some notes. Yeah. And I think we do need to talk about this movie, but first, uh, Phil, Alana. For you guys, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, big deal? Big deal. I think we've yeah. watched it. Yeah. How many times? Four. Four. God damn. <laughs> yeah. I think we, I think, yeah, I think we watched it like twice this month and then twice like months ago. You know, you know what vibe it gave me? It gave me, uh, Alana, have you ever seen, and Phil, I'm not going where you think with mm -hmm. what I'm about to ask her. Alana, have you ever seen Chopping Mall? Chopping Mall? I don't think so. Chopping Mall is basically... It wishes it was Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now, the point I mean by that is... It takes place... Totally different scenario, okay? But it's the same era. It takes place at a shopping mall. And it's about these killer robots who have replaced the security guards there. So instead of having a guy who has to wear a uniform, pull 40 hours a week, you can just build these robots who you don't have to pay. Capitalism. Yeah, exactly, of course. It's actually... Oh, damn, now it's even smarter than I thought. But you just have these shitty little battle bots that like yeah. run around the mall... And they're like, hey, you're stealing. I zap you with my laser eyeball. It's fucking, it's a really not good it movie. Sounds a little like Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> almost. Except yeah. they're not animatronics. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It, it, it is, it's kind of a forebearer to that, to be honest. It's like our founding daddies. Yeah, you know? founding daddies. Because you remember our founding daddies, Phil? Yeah, they, they had were the like, wigs. Yeah, and they were just like, yeah, because they were fucking kinky, dude. Yeah. They were so kinky. <laughs> they were all drag queens. Who's, your, who's, your, who's the kinkiest uh, founding daddy, you think? I'm gonna have to go with John Adams. I nah, agree. Franklin. Franklin. Franklin, dude. He was dude like, was he was like, hose. he was like, what can't fit up my anus? Yeah. Like Put he was the a whole Franklin stove <laughs> up my ass. <laughs> In fact, everything he invented was specifically designed to test how elastic his ass is. Yeah, it's like, stick this kite up my ass. I'm gonna find. <laughs> And he's like, oh, we found electricity up there. <laughs> oh. Maybe this anus could power all of Philadelphia. You know, it's like, that's yeah. how they work. He's I'm a power the, station. Uh, let me think for a second. Now you got me wondering. Kinkiest founding daddy. Gotta um, be Franklin. You know, you're saying Franklin. I hear you. That's a strong contender. But now you got me wondering, like, John Hancock? I mean that name. That name Hancock. alone. Handcock. Handcock. That's kinky. His name is John, uh, uh, which is a what? That's just John? like a regular white guy name. That's Probably a male English, pimp, right? A, no, that's no, not, not a. That's not a, 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 it's a guy who, prostitutes. Yeah, who pays for prostitutes? Yeah, yeah is a John. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, but Handcock. 
You know what they called him that, right? Uh, because his hands were penises. Yeah. Yeah. It was just one long penis out of each wrist. <laughs> yeah, it was like a weird kaiju. But look at his fucking signature on the declaration, dude. Yeah. Where we said to England, we were like, um, how about not? Okay. Yeah, that's what we did. We're like, um, how about not? And F your tea. We're going to put sugar in it. Yeah. And they were like, uh, do you like, you better not put it? We were nah, like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, we yeah, absolutely yeah. will. Because I mean, everybody talked like that back Yeah, then. that's how everyone talked. You know, and we days. won. But John Hancock did. Mm-hmm. Right? Fisting, yeah. Okay, okay, Phil. Yes. Is that fisting. why his signature was so good? It was so yeah. good. His <laughs> signature will make you squirt. It was amazing, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're here to talk about one thing and one thing only, and that's killer clowns from outer space. So, Phil, what's the plot? All right. <laughs> what's the plot of today of 1988s? sci-fi horror comedy fucking i'm gonna say it's classic killer clowns from outer space well a race of clown humanoids come down to earth just to check it out and these kids are like oh we're gonna ruin your cotton candy body factory <laughs> and we don't want you to collect the townsfolk to become cotton candy and that's the plot and the clown's like oh fuck no we're gonna fight because it's our right they're going to fight for their right to make cotton candy people. Yes. Yeah. Sounds cool. I would love to be a cotton candy person. I'd always eat my fingers. You already are because you're so sweet. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> also bad for you. You might. You're, you basically are just like a pink ball, though, to be honest. So, like, <laughs> you are is. kind I'm of... I'm Irish, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. You said you Welsh. are. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, you think the Irish are the only people who get pink? <laughs> I think they are. No. You're Welsh, sister. You're even worse off. Yeah. You don't get to have, like, the cool everybody in America wishes they were Welsh thing. Yeah, it's everyone <laughs> wishes they were Irish in America. Yeah, or Michael. That's why we have St. Paddy's Day for you and Michael. Yeah, no, St. Michael's <laughs> is on uh, September 29th, the yeah. day of my birthday. The Michael's day of my is birth. also a store. Yeah. Yeah. Craft Un store. Oddly unrelated. Yeah. Oddly, oddly unrelated. unrelated. So odd. So are we just naming Michael's, right? Yeah, I guess Lauren Michaels is a distant cousin okay. from SNL. Um, Michael Fassbender. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mike Tobacco. Oh. In the, yeah, in the movie. That's in the, yes, you're Mike on fucking point. Tobacco. Okay, so let's get back to it. And thank you, Alana, because we would have just talked about Michaels for another <laughs> yeah. five hours. <laughs> Phil, yeah. you got the plot. Yeah. But what's the cast bro like who's in this like who's in this i saw a lot of massive stars that we would yeah. all know by name so could you read a couple of those <laughs> fucking massive stars who were in this movie <laughs> okay well we have grant kramer as mike tobacco he's also in willie's wonderland i need to add we were what? talking about um what's willie's, what's willie's wonderland it's the movie it's with, like five nights at Freddy's, but, but but it's not it's Completely different plot and like everything else, and then you have a very it, silent Nicolas Cage, which yeah. scared me the most because Nicolas Cage isn't usually silent. Yeah, yeah, he's like he. He's I don't think shouting. he speaks he's the like, whole movie. What the fuck? That's bullshit. I'm yeah. Nicolas Cage. There was no bees in that movie, by the way. I could eat an eye. Really? There was There's no not bees. One bee. Not even no in the bees. background, the he kind of eyes it for a second, like, oh, fuck, that's a bee. There that's was a no fucking bees. bee, man. The bee. <laughs> there was no bees, and they weren't in Arizona. They weren't in Arizona? No, and he was not raising the state of Arizona. Was, was he raising weird. Cain? Uh, I don't think that... <laughs> Who's in that? I know what you're talking about. There's a movie called Raising Cain. No, it's also a phrase. Yeah, I know that, too. It's also a chicken joint. Where? <sighs> Somewhere. Somewhere there's a chicken joint. So I think called there's, Raising there's a few No, now. hold on. Wow. In, in Keep an eye out, everybody. Keep an eye out. We got a Whataburger now, too. Where? Like Lawrenceville. Okay, let me know when it's fucking. <laughs> you know it's near me. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm not know. driving. At the I'm not driving to fucking Lawrenceville. 15 minutes. <laughs> no, it's not 15 a, minutes. That's no, like here. 20 to get like a burger. Yeah, and where yeah. I live, it would be like fucking 16 minutes. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Phil. You know your worth. Keep going with the cast. We got right. Mike Tobacco, though. We got uh, Susan Snyder as uh, Debbie Sneeder. Stone. It's Sneeder. Sneeders of Hanover. It's Schmeeder. Uh, Schmeeders. <laughs> uh, we have John Allen Nelson uh, as Dave Hansen. 
Uh, he was John Court. He comes Court. in and he's just like, what are you doing here? Uh, well, he was John Court in the show Baywatch. Anybody watch that? I didn't. I, uh, no. Oh, man. I would watch it and I would just rub my little penis like a <laughs> vagina. I liked the theme song. It was like, <laughs> some people say, bah, 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 bah. that's actually the lyrics. Yeah. Some people would say, bah, 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 bah. it was Adam Sandler. <laughs> yeah. Some people, bah, bah, yeah. well, <laughs> you'll know this guy, John Vernon. As Sheriff Curtis Mooney, he's the mayor in Dirty Harry. The mean one's like, you better quit doing your job, Dirty oh, Harry. So better. that's where he's familiar yeah. from. Yes, yeah. he's also in um, Animal, Animal House. House. He plays the uh, the the Dean angry Wormer. Dean Dean Warmer, yeah. the one who comes in. And he's like, Mister Bl- Mister Blutarski, you have a zero point <laughs> zero grade average. You're all kicked out of my college. I never want you back. And he is Fletcher in the Outlaw Josie Wells. He was also Fletch. Yeah, he was also Fletch. <laughs> I'm kidding. He All wasn't right. Fletch. I was just, I don't want people going home being misinformed. We okay. don't do that here. Well, another guy from the Outlaw Josie Wells, Royal Clint- Dano, oh. uh, as the farmer, Gene Green. Mean Gene? Guys, like, oh boy, we're going to get free okay, passes. Okay, so real and quick. And with his dog. His okay, cute named dog. Pooh, Bear. Pooh, Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. God. Now, real quick. I thought it was Pooh Bear for a second. When this movie, I always watch it with subtitles because I'm. Uh, I'm Can't I'm, read. No, I'm just. No, that doesn't make, make sense. Yeah, okay, wow, Phil, great desk. He's just privileged. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I figured out why you don't use them. Got you! And it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> You're like a guy with shit clearly in his pants. He's just like, you just pooped your job. Yeah, it's like, Shit and piss. Well, yeah, you Quit, pooped and yeah. piss. Oh Who God. the fuck just shit my pants? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're incontinent. I, I ever tell you about the idea Whatever. me and Alejandro had for a, a, a skit was uh, it's out a bunch of like high schoolers or college kids and they're all at like you know just backyard just you know just like show up at fucking Sam's parents right out of town. Seagrams. We're gonna be drinking some Seagrams. We got a keg and we're gonna be chilling. And then out of nowhere, like the nerdy kids there and he's like kind of you know like the emo like scene kid who's just yeah. like God, I really like the actual cool kid. Yeah, I like Sandra. I just want to talk to her but i'm so fucking anxious and quirky yeah right and then he sees her and she's the fucking high school cheerleader and she got big old fucking like vagina breasts or whatever they're oh called guy right and he's like looking at her like oh my god i want to talk to her and then out of nowhere big drunk jock shows up in his letterman jacket and he's just like who the fuck just shit my fucking pants man right and he <laughs> blames the kid and he man. wants to fight him he's Kids, like clearly too drunk to realize he pooped his own pants yeah and his letterman jacket was actually just a huge picture of late night with talk David show Letterman. Host David Letterman. Yeah, and he wore it around his midsection, stapled to his body. <laughs> so I'm in my Letterman jacket. Except it's like, what? It's, yeah, but it was big, toothy grin with the fucking gap. <laughs> his shirt has Letterman, except the words are in rhinestone of the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It Why are you funny. doing this to me? I don't know. Why are you trying to confuse me, man? Why you know are you doing how, it, Philip? Why are you doing it, dude? <sighs> I'm a conundrum. Yeah. I learned yeah. that word from X Files. You're a fucking gimp, is what you are. Can we move on? <laughs> sure. Okay. Cast. I'm in Virgil's basement. All right. It's either you finish the cast or I put you in a fucking. Okay. Cast. Well, I, that's pretty much it. I mean, like, all the rest of them are like, the, I don't know. The clowns? What else? We got the clown names. Well, I don't know who played the clowns, but I. Oh, my gosh. Alana, are notes. you fucking helping out? I oh. think so. I'm sorry, I, okay. I wasn't done. Finish uh, that. We have okay, because then you're about to catch a bunch of shit. Slash Alana, thank you for actually doing homework. But Phil, <laughs> you go on before you catch an entire mountain of shit in your face. Clownzilla for not doing that. Clownzilla. Clownzilla is right. played by one of the <laughs> one of the Kyoto brothers. Let me see how it's spelled. I think it's Kyoto. Let me see. Uh, these are literally just a bunch of drawings of circle boobs. <laughs> I don't know. Why boobs. do you do that? The, the, I've never actually looked at his notes. It's all circle oh, boobs. Christopher Titus, who I don't <laughs> no, remember this at all. Yes, oh, he do is. Do you know who else is in this? Xander Schloss, the drummer for uh, the Circle Jerks. Really? You might know him from Repo Man as uh, Emilio Estevez's goofy the one ass with friend. Yeah, the one yes. who's like, "Where are you going, asshole?" And he's like, "Away from you." Yeah, that he pushes guy, him down. Yes, into pushes the... him into the thing, and he yeah. goes, Whoa. "Okay." One of the worst bits of ADR ever done in sound design. That's for the real heads. Phil, he's in it as one of the bikers. He doesn't say. Shit. Wow. Yeah, I know. I saw him today and I was like, that's fucking Xander Schloss. 
He and looks it like is. a Xander Slaus. It is, yes. Yeah. The dorky with the big gummy smile. Yeah, yeah that guy. big fucking Buddy yes. Hollies. Yes, him. Wow, I did him. not know that. Yeah, That's man. amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Now it's time for Phil to catch shit. Yes. Alana, you took this seriously enough that you were like, hey, there's fucking clowns in this and they need to be represented. Yes. Phil, a classic straight white man with a <laughs> tiny pig penis. That's me. Went, I don't care. Oh. Alana, could you do Philip's job better for him, please? All right. Thank well, you. Well, <laughs> Philip did the important part by no, you know, you mentioning the cast. <laughs> you don't have to stick up for him. Okay. He's catching this shit. This is on All him. Right. I well, get it. You enjoy him. He's a great guy. I love him, too. I love him. Yes. Yeah, again... One day you might even have sex with him more than I have sex with him. Yes. Are, are you using protection? I mean, if oh, sir, well, I, I'm on prep, but Philip is not. I mean, if Phil if <laughs> Philip's pregnant with a little Michael, I mean, I told Philip, you know, I you know support whatever he does. So you know, if you know, he if I was pregnant, that that baby has long gone died <laughs> with my habits. All right, Alana. Uh, go on with. It's gonna be a touching moment. <laughs> go Maybe on with stone. the clowns. <laughs> okay. Bring in the so, clowns. Clown roll call. We have Jumbo Fatso Shorty, which is that's my favorite clown. Oh yeah, I Ru think he was the uh, the hype man for Kid Rock in the nineties. Yeah, he's, he's little. <laughs> yeah, Josie. All right. We also have Rudy Spike Slim, Bebo Chubby Frank, <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Magori Storefront Talls. And then we have the, our two lady clowns here, Ro Rosebud, Daisy, the baby clowns that were the popcorn. Who's Magori? I'm not. Who's the sure. Irish one? Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> he's he either be be he's either that or like a Japanese dish. And then we have our famous leader right here, Jojo, A.K. Clownzilla. Clownzilla. And then Slam, Beepo, Mojo, Kilbo. Bash, Danny, and Crinkles. Slam Beepo. Slam Beepo. Cat skills comedian. Cat skills comedian. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody, I'm Slam Beepo. Yeah, I'm now a punk rocker, though. I'm Slam Beepo. Yeah. That'd be nice. What is punk rock? <laughs> it is punk rock. More like, uh, 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 you know, uh, help me out here. Huh? Uh, I need your help. To more this like. Bit, more like, uh, uh, it's got to be cat skills in nature. Let's see. Punk rock, more like, uh, more like, uh, Suck cock? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck rock more like suck cock. It's like oh, it's an 80 year old. <laughs> yeah, man he said pulls that. out his little fucking old wiener and yeah. help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very confused. Everyone I ever knew is dead. <laughs> Shecky Green doesn't talk to me anymore. Shecky Green. <laughs> talk on mic, motherfucker. Shecky Green. <laughs> there you go, Messi. All right, Alana, what else you got in terms of notes over here? You got some sure, fucking deep right. Yeah, so it looks like it. Shit, man. She's actually doing the work. <laughs> Phil, you're just sitting there on your with your fucking hemorrhoid donut. It's fucking like, oh god, if I move too quick, you want to talk about cat skills? Comedian? What's the host Philip has to do? the anus of a fucking eighty-year-old cat skills comedian. Yeah. Okay, and that's my fault, Alana. Apologies. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so these are killer clowns. Of course, they're alien clowns, and their homeworld. We don't know their homeworld. Yeah, they never said right because I was curious. So they. they uh, Clownvania. 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 Yeah. Clownsylvania. <laughs> Eh, likely. I mean, they drink, oh. they drink blood from the, you know, the cotton candy. Virgin children. Oh, so they come from Democrat opia. Yeah. Right, ladies and gentlemen? Take that, Hillary. Uh, Are you still relevant? Yeah. yeah, Rogan, please bring us on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll make up a bunch of clown stuff. We'll be like, whoa. <laughs> Clowns on UFOs? That's fucking wild. I knew it, man. I, I fucking knew it. He's like working out and he's got a giant, tiny guy wiener. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taller. All right, so real quick, y'all. I saw this movie today for yes. the first time all the way through. Now, it's, to be fair, I had tried it before, but it, I wasn't even being like a little like I used to be a film snob, little anus. I sucked. Okay, when I was like 22, uh, five years older than you, Alana, I used to be very. Like, oh my god, that's not directed by fucking Milos Forman. It sucks. I this hate is a it. Lars von oh, Trier. Yeah. Yes. I never, never liked him. Mind, I right, never yeah. went that far. You can't come back. Once you think Melancholia and shit are good movies, you've lost your mind. You've lost the plot. You're a psycho. 
Antichrist is horrible. Like, I don't want to see a half. I don't want to see a dead deer come out of a. I don't want to see the stillbirth of a deer. Yeah, I, I think do. it should be Lars von Tryharder. Okay, yeah. okay, people. Yeah. That's my Bill Maher impression. <laughs> Lars von Dookie pants. Uh, saying that's Philip's uh, Philip impression. Yeah. <laughs> got him. <laughs> got his ass. You got it. You smoked yeah. him, dude. I should tweet that. I'd you be really like Trump. should. Don't get a fucking Twitter, okay? I'm not because going you to. would be in so much trouble so quickly. Yeah. Yeah, but we got Elon on there now. It's freedom uh, of speech. Free speech is back, baby. Remember when we didn't have it? Yeah. Remember when it was just gone? A year ago? Yeah, and it was just gone. Yeah. We, we could, couldn't say anything? Dude, it was like 1984. No. Fucking Panama was playing. Dude, it was like so bad. It was like 1985 level bad. Okay. Dude. It was like the year after, bro. 85 Halen. Yeah, dude. Yes. Yes. Yes, bitch. Okay, yeah. Yes, bitch. Um, so I watched it today all the way through. I had tried it before, but for some reason I could never lock in. Which is funny because this is actually, I think, an like really good, enjoyable fucking movie, it right? It is. But like, I'm even a fan of, and I always have been, of bad movies. Like Alana, have you ever seen um, the Ghoulie movies? Actually, we watched some of Ghoulie's one last night, but we went to sleep early. Yes, it makes sense during a like a like a like a uh, 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 like a killer clown week that you Philip would be like, you got to watch Ghoulie. Either yeah, it was you, like why we didn't did you skip? Gremlins, why didn't you just skip killer no, clowns? Now we got to do Ghoulie. Phil, why didn't you just go ahead? Like if it's I our first time, I should the Ghoulies go to college. It's got to be Ghoulies go to college. Is that three? That's three. Fuck yeah. that one. The second one at the circus. Yeah, that's the one I loved mm -hmm. the most as a kid. They never came out of that toilet, though. That no. poster's a lie. They never... Remember the first yeah, poster? Yeah, that's the reason I, I... Like, I was... Like, like as a kid, I was like, well, I want to rent dish, Mom. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, there's not one. She had a little fucking zombie kid, I guess. I want to rent this, Mom. Yes. She was like, she's like, I don't know. I spent my whole life in Georgia. I gave birth to an Eastern European zombie boy. And all he does is watch <laughs> horror movies. I keep asking, do you want Thomas to... Train engine, or the train, the tank engine, the tank engine, the train engine. <laughs> <laughs> well, in 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 uh, Bosnia. What was the gayest shit you watched when you were a kid, though? Like the stuff that even now, as an adult, you could put in context. I Power was a, Rangers. <laughs> you were a Power Rangers kid. Yeah, and I, I tried Rangers to go kid. back to watch the first season. I was like, God, that's gay. <laughs> However, <laughs> but there's people like my age who are like, just got the new Green Power Ranger figure. I'm like, you're 36. No, I know those guys. I know it's those guys. Limited too. edition. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about. You May. let your kid open it. You're talking about May. I I just did yeah. a post about just getting the green one. Why yeah. are you talking shit? Like I spent a lot of money on that. Well, I spent two and a half paychecks. <laughs> I couldn't afford rent this month. I really like that. Seven hundred dollars. Yeah, I needed that. Wow. Limited yeah. edition. Oh, also, two and a half paychecks for me is seven hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do again at this law firm? <laughs> uh, uh, Alana, what was the shit you were watching when you were a little tyke? Huh. What'd they have on TV back then? I guess Sopranos. <laughs> no. What, <laughs> I, what were you I mean, watching? That like, did come out my you, year. Sure, but like mid two thousands, you're like a little kid. What were you watching? Well, because that would have been after see, us. I mean, I was watching a bunch of shit. Uh, Gullah Gullah Island. When uh, she would, that would be ended. That still be like the, before like, canceled, like ninety eight. Yeah, dude. I mean, I did. Uh, I remember Gullah Gullah. I mean, of canceled. course, the toddler shows. You know, Blues Clues, Dora. Sure. Okay, the classics. Okay. Ta Lippy. Thomas, no, that didn't come around my time. No, but <laughs> you didn't watch a uh, 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 Muppet Babies, Phil. Why do you keep bringing up these old ass things? <laughs> ah, the Muppet Babies. You oh, the Muppet Babies. Baby. I'm a little Muppet. You're a little Muppet. This is Grandpa. Yeah, <laughs> we all are <laughs> Muppet I, Babies. Everybody has a Grandpa I Herschel. SpongeBob. Yeah. Uh, SpongeBob. I did watch Jurassic Park. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And uh, my did, dad, I think he, I he's forgot. A big South Park I forgot guy. what me and my sister were doing, but. The, he he said um, <laughs> that you guys better behave or I'm going to take the T-Rex out of the TV and bring him here. <laughs> <laughs> so he threatened. That'd be like if my dad was like, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to drag Freddy out of this movie yeah. and <laughs> shove him up your ass. Yeah, I'm going to burn him with cigarettes in front of you. <laughs> Don't hurt Freddy. He's my boyfriend. Yeah. He's my big mean boyfriend. Slash. If you want to talk about classic big mean boyfriend, Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Yeah. Freddy. Hey, if Freddy was gay, Freddy Krueger. 
Get out, Freddy and the Cruisers. Yeah. There it is. That's if he started a fucking Bruce Springsteen yeah. ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> On the dark side. Oh, look. Dun, dun, dun. That's a movie that's we a have to do, movie, but yeah. here's the thing. If we do it, we have to call my dad from Boston. Yeah. Because that's his favorite fucking movie. It, it had... And that song Zulu. and that into the great wide open. I have the album. You yeah. know, I have that. Really? I bought it at like a yard sale a couple of years ago for like. The record? Yes, for Holy like 50 shit. cents, dude. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. From, yeah, yeah. It was 50 cents yard sale. That's where I got it. Okay. He's like, I'm broke. Nobody yeah. buys vitamin water anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I, yeah, I don't know the last time I had a vitamin water. I, I, I think did, it was before 2010. Actually, no, nah, dude. I did, for the first time since like 2010, a couple weeks ago, they had one at the place I work at. And I went in there, and it was the classic like lemon That's one. the best one. And That's I grabbed it, one. but I hadn't had it in years. And I started drinking it, and I, immediately I got like dizzy. And then I got like super aroused. Did you get it from on. And then the I was seeing like trails in my vision, Einzel. and then like I started like like spinning up towards the ceiling, uh-huh. and then I went up through the ladies' bathroom. Yeah, what? And I am being investigated so hard right now. But this is all from a, a vitamin water. And bro. you've told them it was from the vitamin. I said water. it wasn't me. It was the vitamin water. So, uh, yeah, so you got you got possessed by Vecna, coats. basically. Yes, I lost my flipping mind. I lost my gourd. Uh, Hell, you want to talk about a killer clown from outer space? You know, have to chug some of that damn vitamin water. You'll lose your freaking mind. <laughs> now, you know that B12, that niacin, oh, B6, been with caffeine. that cotton candy. That's what I'm talking about. Speaking of cotton candy, these clowns, they're Could not be. just normal clowns. No. no. These are clowns from friggin' outer space. Outer space, guys. And they are... Wacky. They have what? Popcorn guns. <laughs> they have popcorn guns. Well, you've you've got the weapons. <laughs> oh, she got the weapons down. What yeah! do they got? Oh shit! Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, what do they got? What are they packing? Well, what are they packing? They have the clown ray guns, which they use to, you know, turn people into cotton candy. Pop. Let's see. <laughs> Invulnerability. If you shoot at these clowns, they will not die, unless you destroy their red nose. That is their weakness. I loved that. It was almost like the, the, the what do they call it? The Pudleys or whatever from fucking your favorite show ever, you gay bitch? Uh, it was the Putties. The Putties. The Putties. <laughs> I do like they that. They were British. That, that's what <laughs> that's sitcom. If they, that's if the Putties were British. Yeah. They'd be the Putleys. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, wait. <laughs> they'd be like, oh, would, oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then you just no. hit them right gavna, in the back. Gavna, 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 <laughs> Gavna. You punch them right in the bean box and they oh, yeah. explode. Yeah. 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 Speaking of punches. Well, I never. And they explode. Speaking of punches, uh,. There was a scene where Shorty Shouty. went up in the air, came back down with boxing gloves. Yeah, and that was because a biker decided to destroy his poor tricycle. Yes. Yes. That biker was such a fucking asshole. I know, right? He was just like, oh, can I ride your wibble bike? And he was like, yeah. uh-uh. And then he goes... Well, can I ring the bell? And he and Troy goes, uh huh. <laughs> and he didn't ring the bell. I like how none of them were like, "Hey, this is really weird." That like that doesn't look it's like really sh- weird. This doesn't, doesn't look, look like a kid in a it costume. Yeah, it doesn't look like any form of yeah. human we would know. No, I'd and, run from it. I'm like, oh, yeah. that doesn't look right. It, yeah, that's not like a normal. You took a person and put grease paint on them. No, that looks like a fucking weird fucking humanoid. <laughs> it's <just laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's like that doesn't look normal. He's like, well, can I smash your? I love how he just smashes that like and Nickelodeon bike. And then goes, I'm bike. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We also have shadow puppets. Oh yeah, that the was... acid pies, the, the popcorn ac- bazookas with the baby clown <laughs> fetuses. Yes, that's fucking crazy. That, they just keep the thing I love about a movie like this. Specifically, yes. the thing I love about this movie is that they got they, creative. Yeah, they start with like a couple of creative things, and then they just keep introducing even more creative weaponry and and uh, like behaviors that the clowns can engage in as the movie goes so like first 30 minutes i'm I'm like can is this sustainable for another hour and they fucking did they actually pulled it off and it was what like an hour 20 hour 20 something like that yeah yeah oh perfect there's nothing we stand more on this podcast than a short king and this is a short king short king even though i had i had to watch it on fucking tubi so i had stupid ass commercials they'd be like, are you like Philip and have hammerhoids? 
Because if you do, yeah, this s- commercial is Suck them off you. with this weird vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> you like, See. kind of? Guy's just buckling in pain. Ah, yeah. stop it. Turn it off. It'll feel better when it's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh what do you expect? It to feel great? This is weakness leaving the body, sir. Yeah, it's we, one of those guys. It's like, no, nah, man, I'm bleeding just, out of my fucking ears. <laughs> yeah, oh, my gosh. sucking blood vessels out of my ass. Yeah. Please stop. I, I think I'm losing way too much blood. <laughs> Helena, go on. All right. We've got the mallets and the bats. The balloon hound, which I thought was really creative. Like, they, this dude, well, clown, my bad. This clown, <laughs> and you thought he may have been doing a trick or something, but he makes a balloon animal. But this balloon animal turns out to just be a, you know, like their dog. And I thought, like, when I first saw that, I was just like, I love you know, that. wow, they got so that, that's creative. That's so fucking smart. Because, like, it immediately starts, and they put it on a leash, and they're just, like, being led away with their big, stupid alien clown <laughs> shoes. It's so good. So good. Or when the clown shows up in town. Oh, and my gosh. Yeah, yes. Wow, 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 yeah, wow, well, that's wow. the I whole fucking that, soundtrack. Yeah, it does. But then he goes outside of the pharmacy. And uh, he pretends to be one of those, yeah. There's like animatronics, the, yeah. There's like the animatronic. Also, real quick, what happened to that era of America where we still gave a shit about animatronic things in public? Like, it's Phil, you sad. remember like the pizza places when we yeah. were kids? Alana, this might have been after your time, but I'll tell you this right Chuck now. And cheese, I'm sure, was still a thing, yeah, but we- <laughs> it's still a thing. We, circus pizza? Yeah, we had like circus pizza and like Rocky Mountain pizza or like weird places yeah. where like Country would, Bear Pizza yeah, Jamboree. They, they would just have these weird fucking clowns or, or like bears yeah. and shit that Not would hurt. Shonies. Hoopa, Not Shonies. Hoopa. They didn't have animatronic. Oh, they no. just had you could get a Shoney no, bear but it was, and diarrhea. But it was like a An classic. edible Shoney bear. Yeah. yeah. Made out of uh, just like you know, microwaved right. egg. <laughs> it, it, like it's everything from the fucking menu. Just balled up until yeah. it becomes brown. In the middle of the bear's gravy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't know, this doesn't look good. That's its blood. Yeah, the blood's gravy. Yeah, you can And suck it our out, last too. ability, we have the big top spaceship. That spaceship. Yes. I love when the little fucking sad redneck with his dog Pooh Bear <laughs> shows up and then Pooh Bear gets kidnapped. Went, Which broke my heart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, broke my heart, too. Give me back my poo bear. Yeah, but I just loved how he, they, they summed up the classic, like, pathetic old Man, fucking drunk. redneck guy yeah. where he, like, falls down and goes, I want my bear back. Yeah. Why don't you take my little poo bear? Yeah. I'll tear this damn place apart. Yeah. I love it's that part. The last two seconds. Then they <laughs> show up with their little fucking fruity gun, yeah. and he just goes, Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. as they, like, just superimpose, like, pink fucking special effects. Rest over. in peace, Royal Dano. Rust in peace. No, rust and piss. Uh, I've heard bad stuff about him. Yeah, no relation to Paul Dano. Which which Paul Dano? The one from the one from the, the Joker. The movie? one from the Batman. No, the Batman man. The one from the Batman man movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Quizzler. The little nerdy kid off the Sopranos yeah. for like two, <laughs> two episodes. Yeah, that's right. He was on that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got uh, what was that? Dookie in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> AJ, what's your dad doing? He doesn't talk like yeah. that. AJ, what's your dad doing? Yeah, exactly. He talks like this. My dad's eating poo. Yeah, he's not going. AJ, what's your dad doing? Yeah. He's a fucking like, uh, like fucking like. You it's know, like Ivy one of the League goons. Kid. Yeah, yeah. I can't find any kids your age to hang out with. Here's big pussy. Can be your friend. He's a oh hey. You ever seen these killer clowns from outer space? <laughs> <laughs> no, Uncle Big Pussy. Get in my van. I got some pictures I want to show you. Okay, Uncle Big Pussy. <laughs> Uncle Big Pussy. My back hurts. <laughs> oh, I bet. Oh, I bet. Uncle Pussy? Yeah. Oh, my I mean, gosh. Sheesh Louise. Sheesh Louise. Uh, go on, Alana. All right. So I've gone through all their abilities. It's our correspondent. Yeah. Yep. So <laughs> now we're down to, I got their hobby down, which is kill people and play tricks, which <laughs> they've done. They Don't did a old. great job with that. Because they... They play a trick that seemed like harmless, like so. There's people like, oh, look, they, it's so sweet and cute. But then, like you know, out of nowhere, you just get turned into cotton candy. Yeah, or yeah. you get eaten by a shadow puppet. I know, and shadow it's fu- puppet T Rex. Like the way they did the uh, the cotton candy pods, like was so funny to me because like they, a rabbit's foot. They, they it looked like looked, a light like, bulb. Like fur. Yeah. yeah, like it's in the shape of a light bulb and <laughs> it's pink fur like a like rabbit. Yeah, yeah I've not <laughs> found one pink rabbit. Really? Never. 
Have you actually tried though? Because the they're Duracell everywhere. Bunny. Like, no, this countryside's lousy yeah. with pink rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Really? I've never. Remember seen that a pink fucking rabbit. movie from the seventies with the large pink rabbits, or not pink, but just large oversized rabbits invading a town. Uh, I, I think know kind of what you're talking about. Nobody oh, fucking knows this movie. Does I, I've know seen this? the. If, if you're talking it's about that, I've seen the reference on South Park with the. Yes. I think the guinea pigs, I think, was yes. what they were. What the fuck was it called? What's the scientific name for a rabbit? Hair? No. No. <laughs> no. That's a type of rabbit. Uh, I think we got to do research. It's uh, like if we it, have time. Yeah, look it up real quick. Equinox. If you don't mind. And I'll just ask Philip. Uh, Philip, um, you wiped. Yes, I wiped. Okay. Oh I don't God. think you did, honey. Okay, so just try that better next time. Okay. Uh, I said, use the towel that I use. Yeah. <laughs> wait, that's, okay. wait, we're not we're at just your house. That's my towel for my shower. <laughs> <laughs> now you're looking for the scientific name, right? Yeah, just the, like the genus name or whatever of rabbits, because that's the name of the movie. Or you, honestly, you could just look up giant rabbit horror movie. Yeah, that And that would work. be more directly take us there. But I think it's like... Uh, like Giant rabbits from... Planet. No, it should be, but it's not. Yeah. It's called like the the... The whatever their genus name yeah. is. All right. Ace just comes in early. You pronounce got? that because I'm horrible at pronouncing. Let me say. I'm I'm for real though. Er, Erictolagus, kind of kind of lingus, kind of lingus. That's it. Hold on. Let me just. I'm gonna type in one more thing. Attack of the giant kind of lingus monsters. All right. Let's see. Damn. I don't know how you work. What are these called again? Androids. Uh. Yeah. I think that's it. That's droid. <laughs> Can you type in giant rabbit horror movie. Type in giant rabbit horror movie. Oh, you okay. can't even do it. It's her phone. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> you don't know how to use a phone. I use my own phone. It's what do you use it for? Phone. Just look up twink porn. Porn. <laughs> oh my god. And Wikipedia when I poo seven times a day. D- to be like red poop. Giant healthy? rabbit movie. Yeah, they're like no, it's never been. Night of Actually, the. Actually, don't even look on Wait, web. Hold on, here it is. Here it is. Night of the lipus. Lupus? Lepus? Lepus or something? Le- Lepus? Yes, but that's it, though. That's the movie from what, what year is that from? 1972. Yes, that's the movie. They used to play that where uh, on TV when I was a kid where it's just gigantic rabbits yeah. hopping, little giant bunny foo-foos yeah. <laughs> hopping all over a town, and people are like, oh, my peach steak, what are we going to do? Yeah. Just busting out There's their double barrels. It's amazing. Another one called Shrews that's like that. Like giant it's gi- shrews. Well, it, it's dogs that they. It's the cast of the View, just oversized. Yeah, it, it's dogs <laughs> that they made to look like a giant shrew. Yeah, it's just dogs. Like, oh hey, I'm oh no, no, to be no. A this monster. is actually good. Okay. Okay. Now. Well, I've never seen shrews. I never have either. How do you know about it? Uh, I believe Mystery Science Theater had an episode, and, well, and I might we're not have like, do what turned they it on do. and went to bed. We're not going to do what they do. Well, I know that. Are you stealing jokes again? What are you talking <laughs> about? I, maybe. I love throwing this at you. Don't, he gets so butthurt about don't it. Encourage. <laughs> don't encourage him. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> little Carlos Menstelia. Yeah. <laughs> little. Little cool guy. Just call me cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great desk. <laughs> yeah. In a ska band. <laughs> I mean, he was like trying to be like, I'm going to make fun of what he's wearing. Size him up. But you're wearing a Fleetwood Mac shirt. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah, because I'm in a Fleetwood Mac cover band as Stevie Nicks. I'm trying to think of like what your name would be in it, like as a pun. Like Stevia Dicks. Queefy Dicks. Queefy Dicks. I don't like that. We okay. don't do that kind of language on this show, and you know that. And oh. Sorry. It's, no, it's fine. It's Alana, you're, you're new here, but Philip should know that. And <sighs> Don't encourage him, is what I'd say back. You know? But Phil, um,. Wow, I don't know how we even come back from this. Like, that's so fucked up, dude. Um, Alana, do you have any more notes about the movie or anything? Phil, do you have anything you want to add? It's just I can't believe you said queefy dicks. That's well, so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I do it's have like factoids. The worst thing. Wait a minute. You have factoids? Yeah. From beyond the scenes? Yes. Uh, well, I guess, hold on. Let's wait here for a second while I, uh, in editing, add the music underneath, but I guarantee I'll forget it, so let's just sit here quietly. All right, Phil. <laughs> um, I think it's time for a little bit of fucker fact twice. Yep. And Alana, if you have any extra anything you want to add, this well, is the segment to do it. So people can hear your wow. voice more. Fucking communist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm like uh I'm like a regular Yousef Stalin. Yeah. You little pooper. Yeah. I'm beaming at you, goddammit. it. Uh, well, originally this was just going to be called Killer Clowns, but they uh except they added from outer space so the audience wouldn't go, "Oh, it's just another Clown. slasher film." So Yeah, it's a good point cuz it's not a slasher. Mm. It's it's a step Beyond, do you know, yeah. dear boy. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Clownzilla was, or, I was originally supposed to be. Uh, God damn it! What? <laughs> like, uh, a stop motion. Oh really? Yeah, I could see but that. They, went nah because yeah they didn't have the expertise at the time to really do that i could see that or the time actually was that too they didn't have it takes forever you have to, to build really... a whole set you yeah have to have so they just do a suit like a giant suit but i could see it. them mixing that too because they mix so much like classic pulpy horror stuff from like 50s 60s 70s type stuff mm -hmm. which makes it an exciting movie you know yeah is the, is the mix of all the special effects I think the inspiration for this movie was, um, if I'm right, the director said he was like driving on uh, through the mountain or on the mountain, whichever one it was, sure. and I think it was dark too, and he saw a clown on the the mountain while he was driving. Mountain clowns. He saw a fucking mountain clown, bro. Yeah, those are rare. Those are really no, rare. That's a rare. Uh, that's I a mean, rare you usually cryptid. see them in like you know, like the the cornfields or you know, outside not, not of the not a know, mountain clown though. The suburbans, you know, just in the dark. I usually see clowns working at the DMV. <laughs> oh my gosh! I usually only see clowns in the mirror. No. Are they behind you? No. Oh okay. no. Oh oh, I get it. Like, could you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's when I open up the medicine cabinet and then close it back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how'd he get there? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah um, the classic reveal. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, well, the... Okay. Um, okay. Well, okay. two of the clowns <laughs> were redone to be I in... You're about to say retarded. Ernest Scared... Ernest scared retarded. <laughs> Ernest scared retarded. <laughs> Ernest gave me an extra chromosome. Do <laughs> you imagine? Baron, I'm choking on pennies here. No, see, if if you turned that character retarded, he would be very scary. <laughs> <laughs> like he would be, because he would be as dumb as he is, mm -hmm. but like more destructive, but angry. He'd yeah. be so angry. He's about like the Incredible it. Hulk. Because he'd be aware that he wasn't this bad off. Yeah just before yeah. and now he is I must kill Vern I just learned he never really liked me that's why he shut the door on me all the time just rips rim shot in half yeah <laughs> then freaks out and goes no I killed the only one together, I love yeah, yeah, just the, duct tape them back together put them back together yeah <laughs> now I made me a Franken weenie wake up wake up it's like the, you just he's just playing the with dog. a dead dog you're just playing with a dead dog Ernest yeah oh my gosh <laughs> Sick, well, dude. since you took my factoid, I'm going to do shitty. this one. That was shitty, Phil. <laughs> I didn't know it was. You're supposed to share with people. So, uh, <laughs> it's fucked up. Okay. Well. So, the guy that did the... um. The So, the Killer Clown scene was originally written for Jason Voorhees, believe it or not. Like, what? what? Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, he wrote... Uh, uh, Oh, the theme, Clownzilla's theme, was supposed to be for Friday the 13th. Jason, Jason Lives. lives. Okay. Really? Yeah. Holy shit, that's wacky. I didn't know that. I gotta go back. What What did that sound like? Well, we can't, but... Um, I mean, maybe it's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, killer clowns from outer space. Killer clowns from outer space. It was supposed to originally be Jason Voorhees is alive. Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Jason Voorhees or, lives again. Jason was Voorhees it that lives again. or was it the when the? Fred Schneider. It'd be great if Jason Let's Voorhees see. like rides again and it was in the West. <laughs> it was was the it that West. or was it it's when the clowns were also. emerging? Sorry, Alana. What? I'm trying to figure out. If this was for um. 
the theme song, I'm pretty sure it wasn't from the Dickies, but um, I think... No, it was from John I Masari. I think this was when, like, the clowns were um, going into town That the was movie. one of his themes, that... But this was the Clownzilla theme, too. Oh, this yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. It was probably kind of the same. Kind of. Who knows? I don't. I don't. No. Anyway, you. All right, the... Oh, sorry. Uh, the it's okay. Don't ever be sorry. Just be better. <laughs> Terenzi Brothers were played by a comedy duo of Michael Siegel and... <clears throat> you got this. Come on. Peter LaCasey. Uh, they were a comedy act in L.A. Really? Yeah. These were funny they people. Weren't, uh, not sure. Like that amazing movie about stand-up. <laughs> Do you remember funny people? No. With oh, Sandler, with and, Sandler and, 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 uh, Joe, and not Joe Rogan. <laughs> fucking Steve Rogan. What's his name again? Seth Rogan. Seth Rogan. <laughs> it also had uh, it's, Jonah Hill, yeah, I it's think. It's a movie that's like three hours long and not funny. Not Wait, funny. what? It's a, yeah, it's a, it's it's a dramedy from um, Judd Apatow. I don't think I can do three hours. Yeah, oh, no. It's like two and a half hours, and it is not good. Mm. Like, it is just not a good movie. So, wait, does this mean Philip's comedy is better than theirs? Probably. For the first time in recorded human history, Philip, Carlos Menstelia Shadburn, has outbested. These are white people. Judd Apatow. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of the new Judd Apatow. Uh, okay. You're a kingmaker in comedy, dude. Okay. I, you remember when you found that one guy? I'll take Judd Apatow's money. I'm cool with it. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. I don't mean like that. You're the Judd Apatow of. Like making thirty one thousand dollars a year. Okay. <laughs> so not a John Apatow. What else you got? Um, give me one of these. Okay. Give me, give me it. Huh, it's my turn. All right. If we're just gonna yeah. share these. Everybody's gonna notes. join in Can on I go get a beer? toys. No, um, I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah, have a Seagram's. I don't want that. <laughs> Why? I don't like strawberry. Go get it. Don't talk off, Mike. Talk to Mike. That's me. I'm Mike. Yeah, He's walk Mike. away. Yeah, walk away, pussy. That thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The first day of recording the score was on October 31st, year of our Lord, 1987, Anno Domini. What? So they started. I said 1987. Oh, when they started the uh, the first day of recording the score. And by that you mean the Dickies. The theme is from punk band the Dickies. The Dickies were... This is their most popular song. Yeah. Is the theme song for Killer Clowns. But they did a bunch of stuff. They did a lot of covers and stuff. They, yeah. They were like they a cheesy, that. fun, three-chord L.A. Yeah, punk la, band. La, 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 Yeah, la, Banana, Banana Splits. Splits. Banana Splits yeah. name. Witchy poo. Sha, la, 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 Let's see. John la, la, la. Vernon and Royal... Like Dano. You know, Dano. We talked about that already in the cast. That they. Uh, Why did you make me look stupid in front of my friends? I'm trying to look cool right I'm now. I'm a mischief maker. You really are. You're yeah. the new Loki. Loki gay as fuck. Yeah, Loki gay. <laughs> do, do you have a do you have a uh, fact? Uh, I think we got through them all. all right. Oh okay, wait. That uh, me, oh, okay. You do it though. Can you scream it. Okay. So. Okay. No, I don't. I don't want you screaming at me. So loving, there man? actually was uh, supposed to be a short film released. Uh, sequels and television spinoffs for Killer Clowns for Outer Space has been in development hell for decades. Recently. Really? Yeah. I'd like a series. I don't of know that. why they never tried that, like say on Sci-Fi or even like Shutter or yeah, one of the you apps. Yeah, get away with it. No, I think that could be a lot yeah. of fun. Misa things. Misa Misa th Misa <laughs> Misophilioma, Annie. <laughs> anal. <Yeah. laughs> Remember, our our bet has always been that he keeps calling him anal kin. Yeah. yeah. Right? Anal kin. Yeah. <laughs> anal kin. We in big boo doo now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, it's, I told you my name's Anakin, and I'm struggling right now with my identity and morality. 
Okay, Massa Anal King. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I don't even know what you're supposed to be now. <laughs> I don't think they knew then. No. It just came out very racist and weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, fuck. Dude. I remember even being nine watching that movie when it came out. Or 11, I guess. And just like sitting nine, there. Yeah, yeah it was 99. Like 10, it was 99, I think, yeah. so uh, I wouldn't have been 10. I would have been like probably The budget five. for the movie yeah. was around $2 million. I'm glad Two you million that up dollars? Two million dollars. Oh, we forgot to fucking do the budget. Yeah. How much did it make? Does it say there? Phil, do you have that on your thing? I already balled it up and I ate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you balled you it, up balled and it ate up. It. You already balled it up, didn't you? It's well, one of these. What did it make? Rage, big boy. They need to open up those again. Big boys? Yeah. Big oh. boy did it. <laughs> you should get out of my face. Okay, that was <laughs> the budget box office. Yeah, there you go. Oh, uh, she found it. All right, All look, right. let her do your fucking job. Okay, my bad right. budget was one point eight million, so almost two million. And they almost made their money back, so they lost some money. And the box office, forty three million. So it did good. Whoa, 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 whoa! Great. Sorry, I, yeah. I I misunderstood. So it was made on a budget of one point eight, and it made forty three million. Yeah, that's a fucking banger. That's a hit yes. for nineteen for the eighties for slasher horror movies. That's a fucking banger right there. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! I did not know that. And I got a quick question. This is more for Phil. This is for men of a certain age. Alana. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, Phil. Cultured man. When the weenie doesn't get hard anymore, that's a good thing. Yes. Okay, no, that's, that's not the question. Oh. Um, the question was, when we were kids, this was never on TV, was it? I never saw it. And Killer I was, Clowns? Yeah. I remember, like, as a kid, I saw it maybe twice on, like, Showtime mm. in, like, the mid-90s. Mm. No, you're talking about Red Shoe Diaries, honey. Oh. You gotta stop doing that. They had red shoes, I can tell you <laughs> yeah, that. They did. They did. That's all they had on. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But did they have David Duchovny running around getting his dick sucked? They had that. And I'm on the X Files right now, season five. Oh, really? Yeah, he doesn't get his dick sucked in that. <laughs> well, that's the final episode. Yeah. He comes back for one last, one last. Scully, go. I'm Scully. gay for aliens. I'm, I'm a gay alien. I know Fox. <laughs> I knew the whole time. It's Fox. Yeah, Why do Fox. you always get that wrong? <laughs> Sorry, Fox Mulder. No, it's Fox, Fox Momoa. Hey, it's Fox Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Jason Momoa's cousin, Fox Momoa. <laughs> All, right. All right, so is that it? Uh, is that it? We got to do uh, the Mater Meter. What's the Mater Meter? We are at What's a work. Find the, uh, the tomato. Uh, rotten, rotten Tomatoes, tomatoes for rotten King. Rotten Tomatoes. It's, but it's how we say it to our movie minions. Yeah. Remember, they're movie minions. They're movie minions. Okay, and we have to do the socials after this so people can find us. Yeah. And you have to do it. Okay. All right. Okay. You can't have her do it for you, okay? <laughs> She's not going to be everything. here next week, so you better fucking lock in, bitch. Yeah. You I've it. never been this upset with you. Phil, I am so... I'm irate. I'm losing my I flipping Irate gourd. Irene. Hold up, I almost I'll kill got you, it. dude. I'm going to kill you. I think. Oh, we need, I just no, might you, kill you got it, you got it. I'm going to kill okay. Phil. Kill Phil. Okay, they gave it a 76% on Rotten Tomatoes. I yeah, but what's the audience more. score? I hope it's not anywhere between 59% and 61%. Oh, it's I a 60. That makes me mad. It it makes me mad when Rotten Tomato likes the movie more. I'm always like, no! Do you remember your stupid friend whose name I can't say, but let's just say it rhymes with Nad? Yeah. Do you remember when he said uh, that uh, uh, Uncut Gems is one of the worst pieces of shit he ever saw? Yeah. Well, I was looking at Rotten Tomatoes. I rewatched it the other night, and mm -hmm. I looked at Rotten Tomatoes to see what the meter meter was for Uncut Gems, which yeah. I think is a masterpiece. Love uh -huh. it. Critic score, like 92%, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Audience score, fifty-two percent. Really, the audience hate it, and here's why, though. Or at least in my opinion, uh -huh. I don't know. I didn't go reading a bunch of fucking no fucking names opinions. Yeah, on yeah, movie. exactly. I don't want to. No, but I'm telling you, a lot of people were like, oh, "It's gonna be Sandler, dude. He's gonna be all Papa Chica." Yeah, he's gonna be, he's gonna fart. Yeah, he's instead gonna... they see this like really anxiety-inducing movie about yeah. a Jewish fucking diamond dealer in it's New like, York. It's like this movie did not addict. This movie did not have one cameo from uh from God, his Rob fucking Schneider. Head off, yeah. Rob Schneider. Yeah. Oh no, we suck again. We saw him live. Live, by the way, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, if you ever want to go see a show where you're the laughing. father of L. King, I don't know what she's a singer, Ellie King or something. Who? Rob Schneider's daughter. 
How do you know stupid shit like this? What Wikipedia. Do do this <laughs> I read the Wikipedia. Yeah, you Rob said Schneider. it like people know that. The father of El King. Of course they we might all know, know that. that. Oh yeah, you she, don't know if they don't know that. I know they don't know that. I know if Just Rob Schneider. Know, no, I know if Rob know. Schneider's listening, he doesn't know that. Oh my well, Of course, gosh. he's a shitty dad. Oh, you think? Probably. Wrong. Probably cut his fucking head off. Huh? Yeah, right. Yeah, get up there. <laughs> We're a high five and ass podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Is that it? I guess that's it. Alana, thank you. A whole burlap sack full of thank yous for coming on the show and actually doing the homework Phil refuses to do. <laughs> uh, Philip, no thank you. Okay? I'll um, see you next week where we will have a big powwow about this. You are not off the hook yet, young man. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Scadios, you're about to get <laughs> double spanked okay. and triple fucked. Ladies and gentlemen, join us on the uh, Patreon this week where we're going to be discussing... <clears throat> I'm not editing okay, this. Uh, Let's just think of it now. Coolrophobia, which is... What is that? That is the fear of clowns. And we can also talk about other How about other, instead we just talk phobias. about phobias? Yeah, I was This about to week say, on the Patreon, we're talking about phobes. We're talking about phobes and why we hate them. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I guess. We're going to be talking about our fear of phobias. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which you can listen to that on www.patreon.com forward slash... PMTM. Link will be in today's description. And if you don't know, we have a YouTube now. And uh, the Yay. link is in the uh, show notes. And check it out. We are blowing up over there. People are calling us the next Mr. Beast. They are. Is there a Mrs. Beast? We'll find out. <laughs> find out next week. When um, we stalk Mr. Beast. And on the main pod next week, we're going to be talking about... <sighs> We're going to be talking about Tom Sizemore. This is a tough yeah. one, but uh, things are not looking great right now for him. And uh, we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about other things, probably making jokes about farts and penises and we stuff. Got to. Like that. that's, yeah, our, that's our shit. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Yeah, I don't understand. It's the funny way of saying literally. Oh, my goodness. I love funny. Yeah, you do. Can I try you really one? love funny. Can you I try suck funny? the funny Go out of it. everyone. Okay. okay um,. You said I suck the funny out of everyone. Yeah. You're a sucker for funny. <laughs> I wrote that joke under the table and passed it to him, so yeah. it is mine. I did it. <laughs> Ladies yes. and gentlemen, see you on the Patreon. See you in hell. We love you, and if you see a shooting star in the night sky, run. Run away. Don't go looking for it. Yeah, if you smell popcorn, it's check the back seat of your pants, you fucking incontinent losers. Or it's a stroke. <laughs> or it's a stroke. <laughs> which we'll be talking about next week with Tom Sizemore, sadly. Yeah. Fuck, I don't know how to be serious ever. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, ladies and gentle thems, we'll see you next week here. Oh, and Alana, again, thank you very much for no being problem. on the show. Thank you for Gotta having me. Gotta come back soon. Uh, Philip, you have to come back soon. People need you, so <laughs> yeah. I guess we have we'll to. But I really see. don't want to talk to you. We'll again. I'm so upset. No, you finish. Fuck we'll it. see you next week, movie minions. <laughs>